even on a cloudy day. You gotta love Brazil. parts finally arrived. Believe it or not, they finally arrived. It'll take about a few days to get the motorcycle put back together. So in the meantime, me and Doreen and a few other pilots are going to head to the beach. 13 hour drive to Sao Paulo, but I think it'll be worth it. Finally, I'm going to get out of Goiana. Looks like we're loading up another guy who's going to be coming with us. I think a good portion of the entire paramotor group is coming with us. So we stopped here in Bella Vista, which is where the castle is. From here, we're going to be driving all night. We should be able to get into wherever the hotel is, somewhere around 7 in, seven in the morning, tomorrow morning. So it's going to be a long drive of Portuguese, which I don't speak. Well, we've stopped just to get gas and get something to eat here, but I had to show you this because I've never seen a vending machine with coconuts. <laughs> so you can actually buy coconuts from a vending machine here. Well, 13 hours later and we have arrived at the beach. We drove all night and it's kind of nice to be here. It's nice to get out of Goiana. The weather isn't great, but I'm sure we'll get some flights in. Each afternoon there's supposed to be a window open for us, so. But, got all the gear and just waiting to see where the hotel is. I don't think we can check in yet, but it's nice to be out of Goiana. Sao Paulo, which is Portuguese for St. Paul, is the largest urban economy in Latin America and the most populous city in all of the Americas. It was founded in 1554 and one of the most poorest settlements in all of South America until gold was discovered in 1690. But it wasn't just gold that made this place so popular, but also the weather. Year round, the temperature is between 66 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit or 19 and 28 degrees Celsius. You can usually fly year round here, but unfortunately we didn't have such good luck. Well, today's a no fly day. We obviously got uh, winded out here. There's a big storm coming up from the north, but that should calm down by tomorrow morning. So we should have some good flights in tomorrow morning. So we're just gonna hang out, go grab some dinner or something. This would be my third trek between Goiana and Sao Paulo, and I should have been excited about the chance to fly here. Everyone was in high spirits, and I tried to get excited, but something was bothering me. Perhaps it was the lack of sleep or the weather, but either way, I had bad news that I just couldn't get out of my mind. Well, good morning. The winds today look absolutely perfect. They should hold until about 10 o'clock. It's about seven o'clock in the morning now. 
we have a really low cloud cover, so we're gonna have to stay low, but it looks like a good morning of flying. Putting bad news out of my mind is always accomplished by getting off the ground. Although the winds were still very shifty from the end of the storm, I tried to forget about my worries and have some fun in the sky, but with all the preoccupation in my head, I forgot to look back and get my bearings about where I took off from. In the moment, I just wanted to be free and happy. Freedom is happiness. But freedom requires action, and strapping the motor on my back and running into the sky was all the action I could do at the moment. Slowly, my mind settled and the day was taking shape before me. For now, I just wanted to forget everything, be thankful in the moment, and try not to worry. Welcome to Sao Paulo. My motorcycle parts are in, so I'll finally be able to leave Goiana and head up north. But unfortunately, things did not work out for me in Brasilia. Which isn't good because the alternative... Oh, the alternative sucks. The alternative really sucks. I'm trying new audio today, so let's see if it works out. I'm not sure if it will, but my Senna broke and won't let me record anymore, so I'm having to hack it a little bit. Now, if I can only remember where the apartments are, <laughs> I totally forgot where I'm staying. A beautiful day for a flight, even though I can't really see anything, it's nice to get out of Guyana. And now that the motorcycle parts are here, I should be able to get out of Guyana within the next week. Unfortunately, however, I have to leave my friends, which I've really become close to. But the adventure continues. There's Termite. That means the hotel should be here somewhere. Right there. Okay. That's where I'm staying, where the windsock is. Good times. Good times in Sao Paulo. No, no Portuguese. Me, no habla Portuguese. Me, me, you, você, <laughs> like him. Me tá vendendo ali pra ganhar um dinheirinho pra comprar. Ok, um, um, um momento. Ok, um momento. LZ is a little tiny and with the cows it makes it a little more tiny. 
Slowly, my thoughts would stabilize and I was able to be in the present. Sometimes, worries make you focus on the future and what might happen, and in those occasions, it's difficult to worry only about the day today. But the more time I spent on the beach or in the air, my worries would become like vapor and just like the mist in the air, would subside to the sun. Then the thoughts would creep in my head again, and like the clouds coming in, they would cast their shadows on the day. It feels so good to get out of Guayana and just visit the beach here in Sao Paulo. The weather hasn't been the greatest, but the flights have been phenomenal and the people I'm with have been extraordinary. So I can't wait to get back to Guyana, get on the motorcycle and head north. But things did not go well in Brasilia. So I'm going to be traveling a little on faith at this point because I have one choice now that things didn't go well in Brasilia and I will let you know about that in a few videos. Either way, just enjoying the beach and counting my blessings here in Sao Paulo. Each night was full of dancing and music and even a bit of karaoke. This was always coupled with someone making a Brazilian barbecue, so sharing was a big part of this experience. As the night would fall and the day would break, we would wake up early to check the winds and clouds in hopes that we could fly. Today is a nice sunny day, but it's extremely, extremely windy. I think I'm going to get up anyway because it's all beach wind, so it's laminar. Hopefully we'll have a good flight. We probably won't go anywhere because the wind is that strong. Unless we go downwind, but then coming back is going to be an effort. Either way, let's get up in the air. He's flying backwards. <laughs> There's that much wind, he's flying backwards. Each day there was always a window to fly, but sometimes we just had to be patient and wait for it. We had a great atmosphere, wonderful friends, and a beautiful beach in front of us. So when we couldn't fly, we would all gather under an umbrella and talk about flying. Or at least I think that's what they were talking about. I really don't know because I don't speak Portuguese. Another cloudy day on the beach of Sao Paulo, but I'm okay with that, as long as I get to fly. I'm excited about heading north, but I'm really not really excited about leaving all my friends. I'm going to miss a lot of them. I have made some excellent friends here. Look at if you can see the mountains over here, and the beach, and the contrast. It's such a beautiful place to fly. I have been so blessed to be able to come here this weekend and just fly, it's amazing.
So what do you think of Sao Paulo? It's a dangerous city if you don't know where you're going. If you get lost in some of the barrios around here, from what I understand, they're as dangerous as those in Colombia. But I haven't seen any of that. All I've seen is the normal part of town, which is very nice. Great people. Good food, too, by the way. Oh, look, it's a powered hang glider. How cool is that? A lot of paramotors on this beach, not just my group, but I've seen three other groups of paramotor pilots as well. So obviously it's a popular place to fly. Tandem paramotor companies are really popular here. Like there's a lot of people that that's how they make a living is just doing tandems all day long on the beach. Obviously this is one of those beaches where they do a lot of that. It's too bad it's not really a sunny day, but I'm actually glad the clouds came in because with it became the soft air. It was way too windy to fly this morning or this afternoon. So I'll give you a little hint on where the channel is going. I'm really trying to get home and I am very far south in Brazil. So I need to head north a lot, a lot, a lot. Goiona is in the middle of Brazil and Brazil is a massive country. I'm not sure if you guys know how big Brazil is, but it's huge. Look on a map and you can see that half of South America is Brazil. So I've got a lot of miles to put ahead of me. So I'll be heading north for quite a while. And as I head north, I go closer to the Amazon. So we should move from farmland into more jungle type area. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Look at the sun coming through the clouds right at the mountains. Oh, Brazil is gorgeous. And the people are just as gorgeous. Amazing country. I will say the Brazilian people are quite a bit different than the other ethnicities in South America. The biggest difference is in not just their language, but the way they eat. Everything is a shared meal. So if you order something from a restaurant, it's for the table. It's not just for you. It doesn't matter who you're with. You're with family. And that's what's cool. I don't know if you can see it, but there's an island way out there in the ocean. Just a rock with a bunch of trees on it. Oh, there's a couple, actually. There's a few islands out there. Years ago, I did hang gliding. And when I say years ago, I mean the 1990s. I never felt safe on a hang glider. I'm sure they're much, much safer now, but back in those years, they weren't. This is my friend Kupin below me. Kupin means termite. They call him termite because he's small. He's a really cool guy and extremely intelligent. So fortunate. So unbelievably grateful and happy I got to visit Brazil and just get out of Goiana. I'm thrilled. Boy, I've been stuck there for a long time, guys. A long time. Well, thanks for joining me this weekend. I had a great time. But most of all, I had a great time with the people I was with. People are beautiful. Never forget that. If you ever get angry with someone, just remember that somewhere there's a piece of them that resonates with you. And if we all kind of understood that, yeah, the world needs a little more love. That's what I found this weekend. Just lovely people in a lovely place. And very blessed. Even on a cloudy day, you gotta love Brazil. I would get in more flights here in Sao Paulo and one of them I would be the only one who flew and that flight was one I never thought I would take. But we'll save that for next week. I hope you enjoyed this week's adventure. Join me each week for a new one by subscribing to the channel and if you really enjoyed it, click the like button. That really helps me out a lot. And with that, I will see you all next week 
on a brand new adventure.